Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm doing some planning today in my Samsung Galaxy Tab using Penly app. I'm mainly planning for the upcoming month, but also a little bit of weekly planning. So I'm already a few days into this month, but it's never too late to get organized. So I'm going to plan out the rest of the month. This planner I'm using is one of our new custom background planners that will be released later this year. I just created this using the planner builder and the colors I picked out initially were a little bit too strong. So I made the second version that I think looks better. So I'm going to go ahead and start planning. I'm using Penly app and for any of you Penly users out there, you might notice that the toolbar looks a little different. So there is finally going to be a new update coming, but it's in beta at the moment. So I suggest waiting for the official release, which will be much more stable. I've been helping Kevin test the new features and I think they are really good ones and incredibly useful. I'll try and show them in this video as I'm doing my planning. Here I'm adding stickers from my new School of Magic sticker pack, which I released last month after several of you suggested it. I really enjoyed making this particular pack and that's why it's got more stickers in it than usual. I just got carried away and wanted to include everything. I'm loving this new collections tool because it's so much easier now to organize my stickers. You can reorder the collections and also rearrange individual items within a collection. Another big update is being able to select and add stuff into collections to use later. And you can just tap on it to add the entire selection onto your page. I started a separate page to jot down any issues I came across whilst using the new features in beta. Penly users, if you decide to opt into the beta app, then make sure to regularly back up your files in Penly format and let Kevin know if you find any bugs. I added this cute fairy tale castle sticker for decoration and I used the new opacity feature to make it semi-transparent. This feature is super useful as you can turn any sticker or photo semi-transparent. There's also a new lock feature so you can lock any object to prevent them from being accidentally moved around. These two features are really useful for using overlay stickers. Now I can change the opacity directly inside Penly and I can lock this in place and right over the top. The lasso tool has a new locked option and you can turn this on if you want to be able to select locked objects. If you're looking for free custom fonts, I use this website called DaFont and here I just downloaded some calligraphy fonts and imported them into Penly. I want to add a text quote into this space, which I'm not going to use for anything else. I put this quote here to remind myself to appreciate the present moment instead of worrying about tomorrow or what's happened in the past. I love working on happy downloads, but I do find it quite difficult to switch off sometimes. By the way, we recently hit a million subscribers and received this gold YouTube award. I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you who watch, subscribe, and take the time to comment on my videos. Your support means everything and it's just so amazing to see our hard work pay off in such a big way. Later this month, I'm excited to go back to the UK to visit my family. Dan is also going to see his family and we'll both be spending some time in the two places. I really miss the UK and I'm looking forward to stocking up on all the things I can't buy over here, such as particular accessories for my Samsung tablet and iPad. There's just a lot more options in the UK. By the way, I get some questions on what screen protector I'm using and it's this one I bought on Amazon UK. It works pretty well, but I've noticed it wearing down the S Pen tip. So I also switched to this S Pen dupe that also came with replaceable tips. I use the shopping list page in my planner to brainstorm some things I want to bring back from my trip, such as food and drink items that are more expensive here. I copied and pasted this sticker for our return flight. And here I use the new freeform crop tool to cut out just the image part. I have been wanting a freeform crop tool in Penly for ages. So I'm really excited to be finally getting one. The new update will also allow you to mirror and flip any image, which is really convenient when you want a sticker to face the other way. I blocked out some time to test the new planners that we're hoping to release later this year. We added more customization options, which I went into more detail in my other video. And I need to test out the different combinations to make sure everything is working properly and comes out looking as intended. I also need to update all the shop listing images to explain the new features. So there's still a lot to be done before we can actually release them. We don't have an exact launch date yet, but if you're part of our mailing list, we will definitely announce it when the new planners are ready. I would love to make more long YouTube videos because most of my current videos are shorts, but I'm super slow at filming and editing and I do everything myself. So I'm trying to speed up and get faster. 
I added this cute cat from my pet sticker pack and I think this pink sky background will look really nice with some moon and star stickers and gold sparkles so I also added those for decoration. So this is how my month page looks at the moment and I really like the custom background feature. It's cute and colourful even though I didn't spend very long on decorating the page. Before I move on to the next bit of planning, I want to mention that you can also add sticker collections to the quick access panel for easier access and you can add as many favourites as you like. I also did some quick planning for the week ahead and if you want to see both pages at the same time, the new split screen feature in Penly allows you to have two windows open side by side and you can drag and drop items between them. I find it very convenient to copy and paste items and then drag them across instead of having to switch between pages. My favourite method of planning is to write out all of the tasks I have to do in no particular order and I make sure to write down small and quick tasks as well as more difficult ones. Sometimes I don't feel in a productive mood or I might be feeling stressed and overwhelmed and I find it really therapeutic to tick things off of my to-do list starting with tasks that are quick and easy and then I feel more productive and more prepared to tackle something bigger. My top priority this week is to finish this plan with me video and I'm also keen to finish my next sticker pack but it's not really time sensitive so I ended up moving it out of top priorities. That's one of the things I love about digital planning, it's completely flexible so if your plans change you can adjust anything you like. I also like to highlight the tasks that I'm currently working on and it's easy to update this when I move on to the next task. I'm also proud of myself for cooking more recently and eating healthier. Here I used the object cutout feature to remove the background and I added this in because I've been obsessed with yogurt bowls recently and I'm excited to try making some different flavours for breakfast. I started using my recipe book to jot down some meals I've learned to cook recently. I've been trying to eat more vegetarian dishes so I learned a couple of really easy recipes from my mum. I'm trying to cut down on eating ready meals so I hope I can continue to learn new things and cook for myself because I've been finding that really rewarding. I'm happy that recently I've been taking care of myself more. I'm not at all perfect at keeping up with my daily habits and I still miss out days here and there so I just focus on trying to do better than the previous week and getting back on track if I end up in a bad patch. Another thing that I'm doing for myself is reading some more self-help books, specifically ones about slow living and embracing imperfection. On the Samsung tablet, you can use this app called Moon Reader for reading books, but I prefer to use my Kindle because it's much smaller compared to my Galaxy Tab S9+. Plus. I'm filling out my reading journal with all the books I've read this year that I thought were good or interesting enough to carry on reading. I'm trying to find a really absorbing fiction novel to get stuck into because that is one of my favourite ways to chill out. Penly users, let me know in the comments what you think about the new features. If you like using Penly app and want to support Kevin, then feel free to leave a Google Play Store review if you want to. Anyways, that's all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and also check out my other videos. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.